Hi, I'm Jen. I'm from Tiffin Company, and what I'm going to show you today is our DFX software. And right here in the box, comes in a couple of different uh, flavors. We have DFX Standalone, we have the plugin for Photoshop and Aperture. We also have the plugins for Final Cut, After Effects, and Avid. So, what I'm going to show you here now, and bring you over to the software, is how easy this software is to use. Basically, I brought in an image. And you can see here that we have our different categories. And I'm just kind of scrolling through it right now. And underneath the categories, you can see the filters that go along with the category. What's really great about this filter, this software, is that it has a very intuitive interface. So if I pick something out like a center spot here, what I could do is I could drag this and use it for different focal points on this image. So if I want to go for the eye, I could do that. I can go for the lips. So one of the cool things about this software is that it's non-destructive. So whatever, a JPEG, TIFF, and we accept a lot of raw files you bring in, the original stays intact. If we go into the different categories, we can see if I pull out something like cross-processing, we have a whole bunch of different variations of this cross-processing, and that's located in our presets. We also have an area where we can go in and tweak, which is in parameters. This one only has one, but if we pull out something else, like flashing or green, we'll have opportunity to go in and tweak what we want to do. And then if we like it, we now created our own filter, which I'm now renaming and saving. One of the cool things about DFX software is that you have the ability to selectively mask. Here I take a dog, and because the dog has hair, I'm going to be able to go in and filter the background and also filter in the dog. And we do this with our Easy Mask system. We have seven masking tools. This particular algorithm is called Easy Mask. What I'm going to do is I pulled out Easy Mask and all these tools came up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the dog or make a mask with the dog by drawing a green line kind of in an upside down U. And then I'm going to define the background by drawing in red. A couple of slashes, taking a little bit of everything. And you can see the hair is coming out of this dog and this would be a not so easy mask or silhouette in Photoshop. And just with a couple of these strokes here, I'm going to go ahead and generate a mask. Less than a minute. And you can see now the details I've gotten in the hair. And now we're ready to go in, and I hit the letter M again, and selectively go in and do some filtering. So I'm going to go back to diffusion and now you can see I, I put the diffusion on the dog. If I want to invert the mask, now I can uh, have the opportunity to go in and do a background change. We might do something like a color grad here. Do a tropical blue here. And you can see Less than a couple of seconds, I've changed. And look at the hair detail here. It's slightly translucent. It's not that jaggy thing that you get with your pen tool in, in Photoshop. But basically, that's the elements of what goes on with uh, the DFX software. Intuitive, easy to use, click and use, layers. You can reuse the mask. You can go in, change backgrounds. Everything is non-destructible. And I'd like to take you over to our Tiffin website um, on tiffin.com. Actually, I think it's the website. But go to tiffin.com and you'll be able to navigate to DFX software. You'll be able to get a full version trial for 15 days to check it out for yourself.